So you've seen a course in the paper, become a PT, make your own hours, earn bulk cash, do something you love, work in a gym, you can exercise 24 seven. I want you to watch this video and think long and hard about how bad you want to be a PT before you decide to throw $5,000, $10,000 into a course that's gonna waste your time. I've been a personal trainer now for about three and a half years, a little bit more. So I feel like I can have some value to offer in regards to what being a PT actually entails. And it's not what you think. So let's be clear. If you wanna be a personal trainer, you have to do it because you want to change people's lives and that alone. Sure, you can make a bit of money being a personal trainer. Sure, there's some prestige that comes with being a personal trainer, but if you're not good at what you do, and by that I mean if you don't give a shit about people and changing them and helping them, you're not gonna make it. If you're a coach or a PT who's working a pretty much full-time roster, we're talking 30 to 35 hours of contact time a week, all together, you're gonna be probably doing about 60 hours of work time total. That's contact hours, behind the scenes hours, accounting, holding clients accountable, programming, nutrition, other behind the scenes stuff. Now, if you're not a morning person, you better become one because you're not gonna have many clients during the day because, hey, that's when people work. So get ready for a lot of split shifts, get ready for a lot of early starts, late finishes, and a little bit of nothing in between. Now, I know in the courses they say, create your own hours. Here's the thing, if you wanna get anywhere as a PT, you're not generally gonna be working much between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. If you're generally an introverted person, like myself, you're gonna have to get comfortable talking confidently, sometimes in large groups, but you're gonna have to be able to approach people in the gym, you're gonna have to be able to hold a conversation and have a good time. If you're not good at this, or if you don't feel that it's a skill you can develop, but it is a skill you can develop, but if you feel like you're not willing to do it, then throw, out the, throw, the, throw the towel out right now. So my main point is this, guys. Being a personal trainer or being a coach is not as glorious as it's made out to be. Don't fall for the trap that it's this money-making, easy-to-do job because the PTs who do the bare minimum don't get clients. The PTs who are successful work 60 hours a week. If you're doing this for money or for prestige or for props, you're not gonna last long at all. But guys, if you want it bad enough, being a PT can be a super, super rewarding career. It can be really satisfying to see people change their life for the better, but you have to be ready for the difficulties that come with it, and there are many. So guys, I thought I'd throw that in as a bit of a different video for a change, because I see a lot of people trying to be something they're not. A lot of people think PT is something it isn't. So, train smart guys, I hope this has been of some value to you. I'll see you later.